Constance Markievicz was one of the world's first female cabinet ministers and the first woman in the world to be appointed Minister for Labour in 1919. She took part in the 1916 Rising and Markovich devoted herself to fighting for Irish freedom, women's rights and the poor. A founding member of Fianna Fáil, she chaired the founding meeting of the party and was returned to the Dáil to sit as a Fianna Fáil TD. When she passed away, she was a member, an office holder and a representative of Fianna Fáil. She is a leader of immense courage and determination who inspired many then and continues to, to inspire today. Mary O'Rourke was Fianna Fáil's first female deputy leader. She also served as leader of Shannon Airy. Mary was the only female cabinet member in government. She served as Minister for Education and Minister for Health. She was a radical Minister for Education, who was the first to begin targeting educational disadvantage and push for a new age of educational inclusivity. In 2002, Mary Hannigan was appointed government chief whip, making her the first woman to hold that position. She served in a range of ministries including education and science, social and family affairs, tourism, culture, sports, enterprise, trade and innovation. She was also deputy leader of the party in 2001. Maura Gagan Quinn became the first woman to hold an Irish cabinet post since Constance Markovic in 1979, some 60 years later. She became Ireland's first female Minister for Justice and led the charge delivering legislation that decriminalised homosexuality in 1993. This was a watershed moment for homosexual people in Ireland. As a Republican Party, a commitment to fighting discrimination and injustice is a core value for Fianna Fáil. Moira, through her determination, championed this from very early on. Sheila de Valera was the youngest member elected to the Dáil in 1977, at the age of just 22. She would then go on to become the youngest member elected to the European Parliament only two years later. The granddaughter of the founder of Fianna Fáil, Eamon de Valera, and would serve as Minister for Arts, Heritage, Gwaitha and the Island during her career. Mary Coughlin's political ambitions began at an early age, when she was elected to Dáil Éireann in 1987, aged just 21. She would go on to become Fianna Fáil's first female Cónaiste and was the very first female Minister for Agriculture. She also served for a time as Minister for Social and Family Affairs, Minister for Education and Minister for Enterprise. While Cónaiste, Mary was Deputy Leader of the Fianna Fáil Party. I am honoured to both salute and celebrate you today, International Women's Day.